Hello, welcome to another video from EarnPed.com. I am Stevie B, just hanging out here at Billy's Spaceship Afterworld. Wanted to go ahead and shoot a video for you guys today. Um, before we get started, I want to give you guys some information. Um, as you know, my friend Green Toker 1987 is around all the time. He has started a Twitch, which is at twitch.tv slash Green Toker 1987. Again, that's twitch.tv slash green toker 1987. And this could be beneficial for you guys. Let me uh, read you what he texted me a while ago. So he's having an interesting event with his Twitch. Um, so if you have Amazon Prime, it's free to sub uh, your Amazon Prime on Twitch to a Twitch streamer. So specifics for the event if you want to go into detail about it amazon prime is free to sub on twitch the event will be twitch revenue he's going to be crafting ep4 50 percent of his total returns get split equally to his subscribers up to a total of 500 subscribers so as he's doing his ep4 run on twitch the plan is uh 50 of the total revenue that he gets will be split between his subs up to the point where he has 500 subs so if you're one of the first 500 awesome um, every 50 subs on the 50 sub mark he'll give away his entire 50 percent to one lucky sub so pretty cool um, just for being a sub just for watching uh, you'll be getting part of the revenue if you're one of the first 500 and then at the 50 sub mark he's going to give out 50 percent of the revenue to one lucky sub now i'm assuming he's talking about the twitch revenue not the revenue from the EP4s. I'm not 100% clear on that. Get with Toker in game for more information and more clarity. But again, that's twitch.tv slash green toker 1987. So, that being said, um, I want to talk to you guys about the most efficient way to skill in game. This is a question I still get a lot, I've covered it in previous videos. But since we're going into 2022, this is still the best way to do it. So, when you are a new player, there is a very specific progression you can go through in order to start progressing uh, through the skill levels, through the mobs. So number one, right out the bat, you'll want to go to the trade terminal and you'll want to get weapons from here. You'll want these limited weapons right here. You'll probably want to go with the Solomate and Noxio. Um, now, you might also pick up some Azuros, some Rubios around Camp Icarus. Um, or if you get the starter pack, you'll have the Barbella, which is unlimited and repairable. The Barbella is obviously going to be the best weapon of choice if you get the starter pack that has it. However, for people who cannot get the starter pack or do not want to get the starter pack, the Anoxo is probably going to be your best bet uh, because it's going to allow you to tag from a distance out versus doing some melee and taking a lot of damage when you have little defense. Um, so most people go with the Anoxo. So the reason you're going to want to go one of these two routes, either with the Barbella or the TT items, is because of your profession standings. All weapons use a hit profession and a damage profession. The damage profession is almost always lagging behind the hit profession. As you can see, hit, hit, damage, damage, hit, 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 damage, 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 right? Um, so the damage always seems to lag just a little, but in the beginning, it's even worse. So your goal is to start off with the Peonies over at uh, Camp Icarus or Port Atlantis. Then, once you get a little bit of skills and a little bit of defense, move on to those Exosaurs at North Swamp Camp. You are going to be there for a while because your goal is to get to this. The LR-10. This is the Armatrix LR-10, okay? This is the very first weapon in the Armatrix rifle line. Now, the LRs are the laser rifles. The, uh, I believe it's LPs are the laser pistols. BCs are the BLP... Uh, I'm sorry, BC, Boy Cat, uh, is the BLP rifle, and BP is the BLP pistol. Most players early on want to go with the LR series, the laser rifles. So this is the very first one. Now, if you'll notice, it doesn't max out until uh, profession level 15. 
Now it says that recommended level is 10 and skill increase bonus is 10 to 15. Really, I don't use a weapon anymore until I've already got it maxed. I, I don't even care about skill increase bonus period. Um, I've done it, I've tried it, I hate it. I just wait till I have it maxed. So I tell people not to even start with the LR10 until they have both their hit and their damage profession at level 15 uh, laser sniper hit and range laser damage. Because once you have it maxed, you'll be able to do this full damage interval, you'll have the full reloads per minute, and you'll have the fr uh, full hit and critical hit ability maxed out. So you'll have all these stats maxed just like I do. Now what you're going to want to do, like I said, it's going to take you a while. It's going to take you about a week to two straight weeks of just constant grinding with that Barbella, with those uh, trade terminal weapons to get to this point. But once you get there, once you're profession 15 in both these professions and have this thing maxed, now you can start climbing the Armatrix ladder. Here's what's cool. With the Armatrix weapons, yes, they're limited. You can go back to auction. You can get you a P20 extender. The extender takes 20% of the decay from the item. So you want to attach this to the limited item, and that gives you 20% more life. That means that you, you're paying 20% less for markup. Well, not quite 20% less because the extenders do have markups themselves, but it's usually about 5-6%. So you're saving about 15% on markup for 20% of the TT value. And then you're going to want to do one more thing. You're going to want to find the right amp. Now you'll see the damage interval down here is two numbers, right? So since I have it maxed, these are the same on both sides. Um, so you want to go with the lower number. That is the maximum amp that the weapon can hold. So in this case, it would be a laser amp that is 17.5 damage or less. Amps do not do half damage, so therefore we need a laser amp that does 17 damage or less. So I would come over here, I would go to items, weapons, attachments, I'm going to want amplifiers, I'm going to want energy, which is the same as laser, armatrix, highest to lowest buyout, Back to page 7. And then I'm simply going to look for the one that's closest to 17. Well, bam, here's one that actually is a 17. It's in the name. So the name tells you how much damage that particular amp does if you're looking at Armatrix amps. So in this case, I would want to attach the extender and this particular amp because it's the Armatrix L amp, laser amp, 17. It does 17 damage, and the max uh, damage that this weapon can handle is 17 and a half, so that's perfect. I would want to add all three of these together, and now I've got the gun that I can go out and go hunting with. I would use this exact setup until my profession levels were 20, because I started at 15, right? There's a new Armatrix weapon every five levels up until like level 100. Um, so I would start with the LR-10, I would use it till I was level 20, range laser damage, and range laser sniper hit, and then I would move on to the LR-15. The extender is going to be the same, the amp is going to change, because obviously the LR-15 is going to do more damage output than the LR-10. I would use the LR-15 until I was level 25, then I move on to the LR-20, so on and so forth. Now the crappy part is until you get to the LR-10, you're pretty much going to be stuck on those exosaurs until you're professional level 15. Once you get to the LR10, your mobs that you can go hunt opens up quite drastically. Uh, most people go with level 5 Argonauts. Um, there's also some other level 4, 5, and 6 creatures all around Calypso that you can go hunt. There's, there's a much wider array of mobs once you can use the LR10. But I keep getting this question all the time, when should I move on? When you get those professions up to 15 for range laser damage and range laser hit, go to auction, grab you an LR10, grab you a P20 extender, and grab you an appropriate amp. In this case, for the LR10, it's going to be the L Amplifier 17B. Throw them together, and you can go have fun. You can go try out new mobs, new places. The world really opens up to you. I think a lot of people quit too early. They quit before level 15 um, because they just get tired of grinding exosaurs, and they go try and grind something that's way too high for them. They don't have the defense. They don't have the armor, and they just get slaughtered, and the returns are horrible. When you're grinding those exosaurs, when you're using that Barbello from the starter pack or those TT weapons, you should also be doing discipleship with somebody. You should have a mentor because early on you're going to get skill points faster than later on. 
That's what's going to fill the bar on your mentorship. If I go to people I'm mentoring right now, you will see that this bar has to fill. So filling this bar is easiest to do just by hunting. Now, yes, you do have to do mentor hunt. You do have to mine once and you do have to craft once. But filling this bar is going to be the hardest part. You just do that by hunting over and over. And if you start early, early, early in your career, by the time you get done with those exosaurs, by the time you get to profession level 15, you should be graduated or close to. The cool part of that is you get adjusted pixie armor. Adjusted pixie armor, paired with decent defense skills, not even great defense skills, just decent defense skills, should get you quite a ways. There's no reason you should not be able to graduate mentor, get your adjusted pixie armor, throw it on, grab an LR10 because you're level 15 in both of these professions, uh, grab, an, uh, grab an extender and grab a L amplifier 17B, throw it on there, and go hunt level 5 Argonauts. You should be able to have a very good time with that. The range on the LR series is also good enough that even if your defense isn't super, super high, the LR-10 has a range of 85.8 meters once it's maxed. So that's far enough for you to go to Twin Peaks, go out the side gate, find you some Argonauts, start shooting them, and then start walking backwards. And they're going to be dead pretty close to the time they get to you, if not shortly after or shortly before they get to you. Which means minimal fapping, minimal decay on your adjusted pixie, and if you do take damage, your adjusted pixie is going to absorb quite a bit of it. So if there's any newer players who are just now getting started in 2022 and you're wanting to know how to level your weapons, this is it. You stick with the TT weapons, the Azoro or the Rubio, or you stick to the Barbella from the starter pack until professional level 15, and then you start climbing the Armatrix ladder every five levels. You start with the LR10, and it's very simple. You just start right here, and you start with the LR10, an extender, and an appropriate amp. And then you five levels later, move on to the LR15, same extender, slightly different amp because it'll do a little bit more damage. Five more levels, LR20, repeat, 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 repeat. Now, I know that seems overly simplified. That's because it is. At that point, the challenging part is not the weapon setup. At that point, the challenging part is figuring out what is the most profitable mob to hunt. Like I said, a lot of people like the level five Argonauts. Personally, I'm a fan. Um, at that point, your options really open up and you go from having punies and exosaurs to having a broad range of mobs you can hunt. And you're going to want to have fun, you're going to want to do some exploring, but you're also going to want to keep an eye on those TT returns in that loot comp. And that's where you're just going to have to start getting a lot of game knowledge and mapping out what is the career that is right for you. So I wanted to get that out there because I've had a lot of people asking me about that over the past month or so. So going into 2022, there's your complete weapons guide. Um, I usually tell people to start with the LR series because after you get those skills up, after you have some amount of defense, if you want to try some melee, you can hop over to the Armatrix line for short blades. They have an entire line for short blades that works exactly the same as the line for rifles or for pistols or for BLP or for laser. Um, the only thing that's a little bit harder with melee is there's not as many amps to choose from. Uh, there's your unlimited amps. There's some limited versions of those unlimited amps. And then you've also got like some mayhem amps you could add, which are a little bit more expensive. Um, you can go with your long blade, which is more of your sword. Uh, but same thing, a progression every five levels. So the LB or SB10, the long blade or short blade 10, will be maxed at professional level 15 swordsman damage and hit and knife fighter damage and hit. And then every five levels you just move up. <coughs> so this is literally how it's done. Now, naturally, as you progress, your melee skills will grow slightly comparative to your rifle and pistol skills. So notice that my rifle for laser and BLP are my highest skills by far, these top four. Then I've got some plasma, some gauss, and then I've got some pistol, evade, and then if I go on down the list, um, I've got swordsman and hit at 32. And then I've got brawler damage at 31, and whipper damage at 30. Well, that's not because I've spent a ton of time with swords and brawler and whipper and knife fighter. That's just because there's a lot of crossover skills that will contribute some to those melee professions, while also mainly contributing to those 
laser and BOP, either pistol or rifle professions. Um, it's not a huge crossover, so it's not going to be like a one-to-one -one ratio. Notice those professions are only about half as high as my main professions, right? Now, melee is great because melee does get you a lot of defense skills. It does get you a lot of HP. Personally, I need to spend more time doing melee. I'm very aware of that. I've just got too many other things going on. So I wanted to get that out there so that you guys have it now, so that for the rest of 22, when somebody asks me, how do I go through the natural weapon progression, I can just point to that. Notice that my laser sniper hit and BOP sniper hit are both at 67, and my range laser damage and my BOP damage are both at 63. That means right now, if you check my inventory, I'm using the BC-55. I could also use the LR-55 because I want to be the full five levels ahead, right? So the LR-55 and the BC-55 maxed out at level 60 hit and damage. I already have that. So on the hit side, I'm already maxed on the LR-65, or I'm sorry, on the LR-60 and the BC-60. However, I'm not quite there on the damage side. I'm only at 63 and I need to be at 65. So once I hit damage for laser or damage for BLP of 65, I will be immediately moving up to the LR-60 and the BC-60. Just not quite there yet. Again, it's a natural progression every five levels. Very, very simple, very, very straightforward. For, I think, the vast majority of people that play, this is going to be the correct road to go down. Um, there's a lot of people, especially early on, they want to get unlimited weapons. I still disagree with that. Um, I did that early on. It was a huge mistake. Um, unless it's a super high efficiency, super high damage per pack weapon, it's just not really worth it. A lot of the unlimited weapons that you will be able to purchase in your first year to year and a half of playing as a casual player, they do not have enough damage per second to be worth owning. They do not have a high enough efficiency, they do not have a high enough damage per pack, and they do not have a high enough damage per second. Um, I had a unlimited weapon that I used for Category 1 Mayhem for several Mayhems. It was a great weapon. And it's still a favorite. I believe that it's currently changing hands at about 2,000 ped. So not the biggest expense, but also not cheap by any means. Um, I wouldn't use that weapon for day-to-day -day hunting if my life depended on it. it. At this point in my career, it's just not a great weapon. The DPS is far, far, far too low. I said Category 1 Mayhem, not Category 10. Now, at the time, it was great because it was a good competition weapon. However... Mayhem is no longer a competition, so therefore the need for it is kind of gone. Um, so if you're a newer player, I know it's hard. Fight the urge to just stay away from unlimited weapons for your first year, and you'll be doing great. Go through this natural progression. Get to level 15 first on both hit and damage, and then start climbing the armor tricks ladder. Trust me, you will thank me later on. Um, what mob you hunt is going to be the hardest part of your decision at that point because you're going to have decent armor. For a lot of level 4, 5, and 6 mobs, you're going to have the proper weapon for level 4, 5, and 6 mobs. You're going to have decent efficiency, and you're going to have decent range, as well as decent damage output. So that's where game knowledge is really going to come in, and that's not something I can guide you on. That's something you guys have to figure out. So guys, I want to put that out there. That way, moving into 2022, newer players have this information from the jump, and they can just roll with it. Um, I will tell you guys up front, I will be on Calypso probably a little bit more today than I'll be going up to space for some more BSC skilling. I have a very difficult week ahead, probably one of the hardest weeks of my life, and I don't know what's going to happen come the end of the week. So this could be potentially extremely bad. It could also be potentially extremely good. And I won't necessarily know at the end of the week. I won't know for probably several weeks or several months. But do me a favor, keep everybody here in your prayers. They are much, much appreciated because there is no mission other than the one that I'm fighting in real life. And it's probably the most important one of my entire lifetime. So please just keep the prayers coming. If you want to help support us, hop over to earnped.com because when you earn, we earn. That is by far the best way you can help support us. And we will see you guys with more great content later this week. Sip, sip, smack, smack. Have a good one, Stevie's.